There's a mountain lion killed up around uh, Malvern, throat hit the day before yesterday. That thing is in social media, it's been on the news. Would you like to see it? Actual specimen? We got it, it's next door. First, this had shown up on a game cam. There was a little information about maybe a mountain lion being around. But then one was road killed, and Brady Baker, uh, Enforcement and Game and Fish Commission, former student of ours, he tried to get it for us. And he was influential in being able to get the specimen so that we have it can be preserved. Really rare thing for Arkansas. It's really neat that we have it. Game and Fish actually admits that there are mountain lions in Arkansas. They say there's no breeding population. So these aren't residents of Arkansas, but they're coming through. So there are sightings. How many? We don't know. But there's been one killed just recently. And in 2014, one was shot in southeast Arkansas. We just don't see them often where we can verify that this is a cat in Arkansas. We're going to take this specimen and skin it, try to tan the hide, and that will be preserved then. Tissue samples will be taken when we're through, we'll clean the bones, we'll clean the uh, hide, have it tanned, and we'll be in our permanent collection. So any point in time, 100 years from now, hopefully, somebody wants to study this animal, it'll be here. With uh, collections like ours, we try to maintain, build, and be something of reputation. It's good for our students. They get to see these things in person. We are representing southwest Arkansas with the collections. We have fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. To get something this uncommon is a rarity for any school. So it's a really special thing for us to have it. I was able to work on the first mountain lion here at Henderson as a student. So it's actually really neat to come back years later just as a student to be able to come in through the doors, you know, and see the animal on the table up close and personal. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If it wasn't for Brady Baker with the uh, Enforcement and Game and Fish Commission, and the connections we had there and his work, who knows, it might not have been available anywhere. But because of him and his efforts and the Gaming Fish Commission giving us this, it will now be here for posterity.